Ben Briscoe here. Right now, the U.S. economy is on track for a big problem. Another one. Rail unions say they are prepared to strike starting on December 9th, just as the holiday season swings into full gear. To understand how a potential train strike would impact our area, really look no further than this live picture of the big net artwork that's hanging at LeBauer Park in downtown Greensboro. The artist made the piece using yarn to recreate a map of all the train tracks that run through our area. Each fold in the fabric represents a way to bring food, supplies, and people to our region. It'd be highly disruptive to the economy. Obviously, it would disrupt already very fragile supply chains, adding to shortages and the high inflation. And inflation, of course, is a big problem for American households. Well, in queer lay that this would impact you, each and every one of these rail cars carry about 2,000 packages on behalf of companies like FedEx and UPS. So all of that stuff we've been buying online right now, it might have major shipping problems. The Railway Labor Act gives Congress the right to push back the strike deadline, extend the negotiation period, or force the sides to use an arbitrator, even enact legislation to adopt an agreement Congress decides. Congress, I think, has to act to prevent it. It's not an easy call, but I think we have to do it. The economy's at risk. I reached out to our lawmakers that represent the, our area to see where they stand. We're still waiting to hear back, but leaders from both political parties say they think Congress is going to step in. I don't like going against the ability of, of uh, unions to strike, but weighing the equities, we must avoid a strike. I think it will pass, but it's unfortunate that this is how we're running our economy today. And if you're passing a bill to force the rail workers to work, how strong is your economy? House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the bill will be on the House floor tomorrow morning to sort this all out.